Elena really helped me with Gracie um, in a lot of ways. Some of the biggest problems I was having with Gracie at the time was um, she was just a really reactive dog. Everything was like just way too much for her. Um, you're upside down, buddy. There you go. Um, everything was way too much for her. She she saw a dog, she would freak out. She um, she saw a person, really anything that moved, she would like lose her shit. And it wasn't like she wanted to attack or anything, but she just wanted to play and it was just like way too stimulating. And part of that was um, she just before, I don't think she was able to get out as much with um, with her previous owners. Um, but it was just hard for me to handle just because it was like I wanted to go out with friends or something like that and take her with me, I couldn't. Um, and then in the house, she was pretty good, but she just always had to be next to me and she couldn't just like sit in one place and stay and chill out. She always had to be with me. She always had to be next to me, which was hard. If I needed to do schoolwork or something like that, I couldn't always have her like right by my side. Um, so the biggest thing that was really nice during the training was Elena was really good about sending me lots of pictures and updates. Um, and like um, sending me cute videos, sending me videos of her progress, sending me cute pictures. It was around Christmas time. So she had like cute antlers and things like that. Um, and then when I picked Gracie up, it was like a different Gracie. Um, she just looked, she seemed like a lot happier just because it seemed like she was a bit more confident about herself and it didn't seem like she had to get so emotional about things, which really made me feel better because that was the biggest thing when I took her out was not only was it like hard to handle, but I could see that it was hard on Gracie because she was so excited. She was so emotional and then not being able to go out and play with the other dogs that she saw or interact with other people kind of made her a little anxious, a little stressed out and it just wasn't good for her. So it was nice to see her be able to control her emotions and, and not freak out as much. Um, it really helped me because I was able to learn how to be able to like call her back, how to get her to heal. Elena was really nice about teaching her Spanish because most of my family speaks Spanish and I wanted it to be easy for them to also um, be able to give commands to Gracie. Um, but Gracie was just really able to calm down. Um, when she saw another dog coming, she was able to sit and just kind of watch it go by. And then she really was looking for you to give her praise from that because she wanted to, she was a really, I think she was an easy dog to train because she wanted so badly to do well and to please you. So, um, um, but that, but that was really nice just to be able to see her not focus so much on the dog walking past her or whatever and to focus on you and to be able to be calm when we went to dog parks i mean before elena she would like go crazy to the point where she would like body check other dogs like it was embarrassing and after the training i was able to take her out and um kind of give her commands and she was able to focus on me so she wasn't going crazy and body checking other dogs and it wasn't as like oh i'm so sorry that my dog literally gave your dog a concussion um and then in the house she was able to i could say like you know comma and she would stay in her bed and you know wait for me to give her a command to come back she was able to like sit and stay if i walked away um, and then leash walking, like going on walks was a lot easier because she wasn't tugging and pulling and it felt better for her too because she wasn't choking herself or hurting herself with the harness. So overall, Elena just really helped put some like calm, you know, some really tranquil vibes over a lot of my, um, outward bound interactions with my, my dog, um, and help my dog be a more confident dog and be able to not freak out all the time and have it be a more enjoyable experience but um the biggest thing was i think it was really more like positive reinforcement type training which i really liked i didn't want there to be like like mean punishment training it was really just waiting for gracie to figure out the right answer and praising her for that and i think gracie really learned well from that and i know gracie had a great time and i know um elena mentioned like she really liked gracie and overall it was just a really good ow that was my finger buddy that was not the sock um, over uh, just a really great experience and I also learned some techniques just in like the short training session that she gave me as the owner um, when I went to pick her up techniques that I even um, I'm starting to use on um, my new puppy Jago um, and I think that was really good and it really impressed me that like they did a training session with me because it really meant that they understood you know the dog is only part of the problem like it's also on the owner to know how to communicate with your dog and um yeah, overall, I just think she did a really great job at helping Gracie and I understand each other better and giving Gracie the tools to handle herself better and be a more confident puppy.